When it comes to seasons, fall is the best, then comes spring, followed by winter, and in very last, summer. These are facts that cannot be refuted, and if you want to check with your local governing body in your region, I guarantee they can verify this information. <laughs> and now that we're in spring, I am super excited to share with you my current wardrobe essentials for the springtime. We're also going to talk about some items that I potentially want to add to my wardrobe for spring 2023. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Drew What It Do. It's nice to meet you. Let's talk spring fashion. Or should I say, let's spring into this video. <laughs> a year ago, I would have definitely started this video with footwear. But now I'm a bit older, I'm a bit wiser. I hope. <laughs> now I want to dive first into bottoms to give you guys an idea of what pants and shorts I will be wearing the most this spring. If you've been watching my videos over the past three to four-ish months, then you've probably seen these jeans that I'm going to mention first. These are my prized possession when it comes to denim. They are, and say it with me if you know, my Yoji Yamamoto five panel Japanese selvage made in Japan denim jeans. <laughs> when it comes to selvage denim, it's hard to find jeans that have this wide of a profile, but not something that's too wide and too demonstrative that kind of looks ugly, but looks clean cut like this and is in this beautiful rich indigo color and that fit properly. I originally bought these jeans in Montreal or Montreal at Essence for a pretty hefty discount. I want to say it was about 80 to 90% off the original retail price. And after several trips to the tailor following the original purchase, they fit pretty damn exactly how I want them to fit. Like pretty, pretty good. I would say they're 95% there in terms of fit, which is a lot more than a lot of the other jeans I've that I've had in the past. And if you're a denim junkie, like I feel like I'm becoming a bit, you can kind of notice the fades near the front left pocket down towards the bottom of the hem and other areas where there's a lot of stress going on with the pants. Yeah, I can't wait to wear these pretty much all spring. Next, we have a pair of trousers that I acquired while working with Tommy Hilfiger in the Netherlands, which is just kind of crazy to say that I went through that and had that experience. But yeah, these pants are really cool as well. I'm not quite sure the actual name of this particular pair of pants, but I describe them as a beige, obviously ultra wide fitting pair of trousers. They are incredibly light and airy and perfect for the springtime and even the summertime when the months and days are just scorching hot. I know that these are gonna be a bit difficult to find for the majority of people. Like I said, I picked these up while in the Netherlands, so I was in Europe, so if you're in the US, you're probably like, well, where can I find them? Here's how I would substitute the search term from Tommy Hilfiger to other kind of just wide pleated trousers. This is what I would search. Okay, so I would search wide fitting pleated trousers, like I mentioned, and I would use these retailers in specific. We have Netta Porter, Mr. Porter, Essence, Todd Snyder, and Farfetch. There you go. We got denim, we have beige trousers. Let's continue. Last, when it comes to pants, I like having a light nylon, kind of swooshy, flowy pair of black pants. These are from a brand called Collegium, which is run by an absolutely amazing dude in Nick Sissombath. And I've been wearing these a lot. I've been wearing them in the winter. I wore them kind of late fall. And I feel like because of the weight of these black pants, they're not too heavy. Nick and Collegium are both based out of California. So he's kind of developing footwear and clothing to match that weather. And in California, it's quite warm a lot of times. And I just feel like these pants are going to be able to be worn in the spring because they're just very light or even for the days that are kind of like not like scorching hot but like it's like medium warm outside you know what i mean these pants are perfect for medium warm days the first pair of shorts i want to highlight are the manresa island shorts at least that's what i'm calling them i can't remember the exact name of them and i'm pretty sure manresa will come out with new variants they just aren't on the site yet but for right now we're going with the island shorts and manresa is a amazing small up-and-coming brand i believe out of the east coast of the united states that makes really really fun clothing in fact their labeling and the way that they create labels for the particular items that they sell is top shelf top tier kind of stuff and i have a lot of respect for manresa 
or Minresa. These have a relatively short inseam, but if you're someone who isn't afraid to kind of show a bit more skin on your legs, or if you like this fit when it comes to the actual length and the inseam of your shorts, these are a fantastic option. There's a ton of pockets, the colors are fun for these, and I absolutely love these shorts. The final essential I want to talk about when it comes to bottoms might be the most important and most worn for the spring and summer months of the year. These are my old reliable. They are Porter James Sports Nylon Saturday Shorts. These are so good that I actually have two pairs and I wear them what seems like every single day during the spring and especially during the summer when it's way too damn hot outside. That's the thing about summer. That's why it's not the best season because summer, like being too hot is not as bad as being too cold. Being too cold, you can bundle up. When it's too hot, there's nothing you can do but be hot. I love the overall aesthetic of these. I've dressed them up with loafers, which we'll talk about later in this video. I've dressed them down with sneakers. I've worked out in them. I've dressed them more athletically. They just cover a total, they just cover a great range of different outfits for a simple, clean look. Also, a cool nugget about Porter James Sports is that they are actually based out of New Zealand, which is really cool. There are not many brands that are from New Zealand that touch the rest of the world, and I think that Porter James is, is one of those ones that's doing their best to um, put New Zealand on the map when it comes to fashion. All right, let's talk about footwear. When it comes to footwear, my tastes have evolved over the years, and just like everyone, I have different footwear that I would have maybe worn a year ago than what I'm wearing this year. With all that being said, I think that the most worn sneaker for the springtime for me will be the Onitsuka Tiger Mexico 66. I have a very narrow, very flat foot profile and the Onitsuka Tiger Mexico 66 is made for my foot. That's the way I feel. It's literally made for someone who has a flat, narrow foot and they fit my feet like they are feet gloves. That's what shoes should be, right? They should be gloves for your feet. <laughs> I also love the fact that this colorway, while recognizable, isn't a crazy collaboration. And the reason why it's recognizable for some of you, if you are fans of pop culture, you may think of someone like Bruce Lee. Some of you might think of Kill Bill. Some of you might think of something else. I have no idea. If the Onitsuka Tigers are my most worn pair of sneakers, then the Birkenstock Bostons are my most worn pair of footwear period in fact i'm wearing my birkenstocks right now before i show you the b-roll i have to show you this boom here they are birkenstock bostons got them on literally all the time they're like they're like um comfort food for your feet <laughs> now the birkenstock boston has definitely died down in conversation as it relates to their overall trendiness and popularity but for those who know and those who have withstood the kind of wave of Birkenstock conversation. Um, they know that the Birkenstocks are, that Birkenstocks in general are a fantastic forward option if you enjoy comfort, if you enjoy a bit of like quirky aesthetics and kind of like this like bohemian relaxed look. I love Birkenstocks for that, man, especially the Boston. The Boston's just are the kicker. There are other models as well that you can get that are either like the open toe sandals or the Kyoto's or, or like um, the, the EVA foam versions. There's so many different options and Birkenstock has been doing it for a long time and they do a fantastic job in my opinion. Next, let's talk about loafers. If you don't own any loafers, they can be a fantastic way to diversify your footwear. My favorite loafer of choice are these GH Basswegian 90s Kilty Penny loafers with the suede upper. I've been a certified loafer boy ever since 2021 and I see no signs of me turning back. Loafers literally go with everything. They make any outfit feel more sophisticated at that. I've worn these with shorts pants in europe to concerts in every which way you can think of and i've loved every single outfit i've made last but certainly not least when it comes to footwear we have the new balance 990 v3 this is the jound pair but i think any 990 v3 will suffice new balance honors the pardon me that will always love sneakers that will always pay homage to streetwear and the part of me that just wants to wear a nice fitting pair of kicks the 990s are comfortable they look good and they can be styled in a plethora of ways that kind of just feel light you know what i mean it's not nothing serious when it comes to the outfit it's just a nice 
cool outfit with a pair of New Balances. I've talked about New Balance a lot on this channel and that's about all I have to say about these right now. Let's get a word in for today's sponsor, Squarespace. Are you interested in making your very own website for a brand or creative project? Squarespace offers a comprehensive amount of features to make the website that you've always dreamed of. If you want to sell your products direct to consumer or if you just want to display your body of work, Squarespace makes it easy to do that and more. Currently, I'm using my Squarespace website as a hub for all of my content and all of my social media platforms. And if you needed a sign to help nudge you into creating your first website, this is your sign. Visit squarespace.com slash drewjoiner for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, we got the bottom half of our outfits covered. Let's move on to the top half of the outfits. The first item that I want to showcase as it pertains to tops is this crew neck by Samuel Zelig. The chain stitching on the front of this crew neck is the detail that set it off for me. I also love how colorful this entire crew neck is without being too overwhelming. And that's a perfect way to put it, I think. And that's that's kind of like what spring fashion is, is, is about. You want things to be a bit more colorful, a bit more lively, a bit more exciting, but you don't want it to be overdone or you don't want to look like a highlighter either. At least in my opinion. These are, of course, all opinions. Next, we have this camp collar button up by 316. I think camp collars and just button up shirts in general are fantastic styling options for the spring, especially for menswear. Now for women's wear, obviously you're going to have more options when it comes to skirts, dresses and other types of garments that maybe fit the silhouette and the body types of women better but regardless i think camp collars for me and button ups for me are going to be a hit this spring 2023 and speaking of collared button ups and or polo tees this one by beams plus is one of my absolute favorites in my wardrobe i wore it religiously last spring and last summer and i see myself doing the same this year i love the the vibrance that this particular top gives off as well it's just it's just perfect for the days when the light is abundant because we're in spring and summer <laughs> next we have our basic tees the crop tees you are seeing now are from one of youtube's best creators owen hyatt and his brand somar and the reason why they're so great is because if you have a t-shirt that's cropped, it means you don't have to tuck something into your pants if you don't want it to show down the bottom. Um, it's just a, a great pairing when it comes to layering with a light jacket or something like that. I love these t-shirts for layering. And they're super soft. Kudos to Owen Hyatt for creating products that are just for everyday use. And literally, I, I just see myself using this every day and I have been using it almost every day for the last couple of weeks here moving right along to light jackets the first jacket you're seeing is story mfg's tuesday jacket this is modeled after the iconic levi's type 2 jacket but the fabric is a hand loomed cotton i believe either way it's hand loomed and it is unlike denim it is this really kind of fun textile that adds a bit of light layering to an outfit but isn't it's not suited for the the fall or the winter it's it's super light so it's more of like a summer kind of jacket it's more of like a spring summer kind of jacket in my opinion story mfg is probably one of my favorite brands so the fact that i can participate in wearing some of their pieces in all of the seasons of the year is awesome last but certainly not least when it comes to tops we have the canoe club orslo french chore jacket this jacket this jacket is so damn good the herringbone twill fabric that the jacket is made of fades really fast and i love to see that wear on a jacket that's supposed to represent workwear <laughs> the blue is an iconic blue and the one thing that i really love about this jacket is the fit when it comes to Orslo, when it comes to Japanese brands in general, they typically aren't making things for American body sizes. And as someone who's six foot three, about 180, I was 187 this morning, so about 187 pounds, um, who has relatively large thighs. I guess thighs don't matter with jackets. Regardless, I love to see that Canoe Club, one of the retailers in the state of Colorado, carries a brand that has sizing for someone like me. It's beautiful to see. Yeah, it's beautiful to see. <laughs> 
finally, let's get into accessories and then talk about some of the items that I'm looking to buy for spring. I am a huge fan of crossbody tote bags. I think crossbody bags are a great way to elevate an outfit and just make it more appealing and interesting while also adding a bit of functionality. The three crossbody bags that I use the most are all from Story MFG. The first one is the Star Scraps crossbody and then we have this kind of cloud swirl crossbody and last we have the beige kind of run-of-the-mill story mfg crossbody tote other accessories that i love for the spring are boy blondie's kind of flower bracelets that he's come out with that he's done really well with i think they look great and really do a good job at complementing that kind of spring lively flower look for headwear i think that one of the most fun hats that i've ever picked up are these bucket hats from you guessed it story mfg these are the only bucket hats that i've actually been excited to wear bucket hats are not something that everyone kind of can pull off but these ones are just quirky fun and exciting enough for your boys to love them and last when it comes to brimmed hats whether it's like trucker hats or dad hats or i know some people love fitteds for me i love trucker hats and i wear trucker hats the majority of the time during the spring and the summer because air can dissipate from the back of my head and my most worn trucker hat in my collection in my wardrobe is this one by capital and capital makes a ton of really fun kind of just wiry trucker hats that just have weird little sayings on them and things like that and that's something i love about trucker hats trucker hats should be fun they should be kind of playful and capital does a great job of making sure that it's like that if you have any specific questions about any of the items that i mentioned leave them down in the comment section either i or someone who's a part of the community will answer these questions to the best of their ability that means i'm counting on the community to help people out here but I have faith, I, I trust you guys. Let's talk about some of the items that I'm looking forward to potentially picking up or that are on my wish list for this spring. First, we have the good old wife pleaser. We're not calling them wife beaters anymore, we're calling them wife pleasers. Wife pleasers, in my opinion, are an article of clothing that are fantastic for layering. I think they look great layered with, like I said, button up shirts or on their own under like particular jackets or whatever it may be. They're just great for spring summer layering and they keep things light and they don't kind of, they keep things light and they don't heat you up while you're layering. And I think wife pleasers can be worn by essentially anyone, which makes them really cool in that aspect. Linen pants are another item that I think would be really fun to style in the spring. Pants tend to look more stylish than shorts do, but pants aren't always practical when it's really warm outside. I think a light flowy pair of linen trousers is the best way to combat it being too hot outside and wanting to look stylish with your outfits during the spring and the summer. And finally, as much as I love my GH Bass loafers, if you looked at them, if you take a look at them, they have a bit of wear and I would love to upgrade my loafers to something that's a bit more premium. That would be awesome. The GH Bass leather isn't anything to write home about and I think most people who own GH Bass Weegens know this, but don't let it discourage you from picking up. I think they're a great entry level loafer for the majority of people. I'm just at a point where, hey, maybe it would be nice to experiment with leathers and different loafer styles that are a bit more elevated. Maybe I'll go with the ALD route. I've heard of Blackstock and Weber. Um, I still need to do more research, but upgrading my loafers would be a lot of fun. And I think loafers are just awesome for the spring. So that's kind of what I was thinking about with them. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you consider to be your wardrobe essentials for the springtime. And as always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2023. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you from me, wherever you are in the world. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Abianto. Peace, man. <laughs> Yo, what? <clears throat> my voice post vid vid yo what is good post vid vid hopefully you guys are having a good day today y'all know what's coming bop let's hit it with the two times bop thank you so much for staying to the end of the video i appreciate you so 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 much for real like so much <laughs> the post vid vid question of the day is what is your favorite season i gave my order it goes fall spring 
winter then summer i think some people are gonna be thrown off by that especially if you're in school you're like drew winter is not it because like you're in school it's cold but i'm telling you it's better to be a bit cold than it is to be too hot that's just the way i feel <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video love to you all and um, enjoy the rest of your day peace